Morning everyone, it's Saturday morning. Uh, Adam and I are going on um, a thirst for us, really. Um, we're heading up to a place um, near San Blakemere. Yeah, called Blakemere, near Sandy Way, um, which has uh, lots of little units in it for people who are selling vintage and antique things. Um, and Adam has been lucky enough to get a glass cabinet that we can fill with some vintage well, we items. We are very excited to fill. Yeah. Um, so it's a beautiful day out today. I'm sure it'll be very busy at Blakemere, uh, but we're hoping that we can actually get all of our things into. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of stuff. The cabinet. We've got quite a lot of stuff, so I don't know where it'll all fit in, but we've got two boxes worth. Might, uh, some know, of it might come home with us. Some of it, yeah. yeah, some of it might come home, but uh, we shall uh, wait and see, and there'll be a, an update later. So we are at the antique place. We are waiting for the um, office to open so I can sign the remaining paperwork and that sort of stuff. Um, but we've actually found our cabinet, which is pretty cool. But although it's outside the antique centre, not inside. Um, that could be a good thing or a bad thing with regards to footfall, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll just show, I'll quickly flip you around and show you it. And then what I might do is do a little shot of it when it's full as well. So, yeah. So this is my cabinet here. That's going to be the one I'm having. Number 408. Right, hi guys. It's uh, a little bit sunny, so I don't know how this is going to come out, but... Um, I'm just going to the car now to pick up my cabinet stuff, my cabinet boxes, sign the contract, got my ID card and all that sort of stuff. Uh, had to wait around for a little bit for the actual place to open. Um, for some reason there wasn't anyone in the place. Um, but I'm just going to quickly flip you around now and show you um, maybe a couple of the things I've got to go in the cabinet. So, just a very quick sneak peek before they actually go in the cabinet and then I'll show you a little bit more of a view of the, the cabinet when it's full. Um, we've got some new, well, sort of new old stock Swan Vestas. We've got, you know, a nice ginger beer bottle there. Um, we've got some vintage tins. We've got, it's all like vintage items. We've got this, oh, really heavy, I don't even know what wood it's made out of. I don't know, mahogany or something like that. I, don't, I really don't know, but it's heavy. Um, and it's this sort of monkey little statue here. Don't know whether it's vintage or antique. Probably, I don't know. It's it's on the border, to be honest. I think it's quite old, but maybe not antique. Um, might be, though. But anyway, um, no, it probably isn't, to be honest. It probably isn't antique. But, um, yeah, we've got that, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got one of the old um, tape measure things. We've got a few other little like bread and butter bits here. Oh, it's not focused, is it? One sec. Let me focus it, focus it in a bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, one of them. And then we've got some bits of fat lava, because you know it's not, uh, uh, you know, it's not a video without any fat lava for me. Um, we've got some other games, vintage games, Cambric Green there. We've got a, um, oh, down there, what are they called? Not a thunder light. Some, oh, I forgot what we call it. Hurricane lamp. Hurricane lamp down there. You can't really see it very well. But anyway, I'll leave it there and I'll take this in. I'll fill the cabinet up and then I'll show you what it looks like all in all. Time to start piling the stuff in. You ready? Yeah. Awesome. First item in. So this is my cabinet, it's this one here, um, got plenty of stuff in it, really really nice layout, um, sorry if there's a little bit of background noise, we've got toys and stuff in here, we've got a fat lava in here, I, I wanted to do like a dedicated shelf to fat lava because it's like, I really like fat lava, we've got some really nice pieces, we've got a really nice sort of deep red one there with sort of a greeny blue in there. We've got this uh, 
orange and lime one, kind of like a tic-tac. We've got a nice chocolatey brown one at the back, and we've got this really nice, lovely uh, bud vase as well, which is really nice um, style. Um, in this one, I've got like tins and stuff like that. And then in that bottom one, I've got the fairy, new old stock. We've got the hurricane lamp and a few other bread and butter bits. I will come back to you with a little bit of a um, sort of analysis when I'm in a quieter spot. Right, I'm sorry if that last clip was um, maybe a little bit low on the audio in terms of my voice. I don't know whether it will be or not, but I was in the corridor, there's a lot of people talking, um, and I don't know how much of it, how well it will have come out. So um, I hope you saw, my cab well, you will have seen the cabinet at least, but I don't know how well the audio came out. Um, but yeah, so I'll give you a few little, I'll just talk to you a little bit about the cabinet and... Uh, what's going on really so it's 31 pound a month not 30 um but that's fine that's you know it's only one pound difference don't know where i got 30 from but yeah it's actually 31 pound um maybe i would just convince convince myself it was 30 quid i don't know but yeah it's 31 pound um that's each month so if there's 31 days in a month it's like one pound a day um but i'm not really looking at it like that i'm trying to think of it as i've got to make that 31 pound back rather than like you know splitting it down into you know one pound a day or whatever but you can think of it however you want to think of it really but it's still 31 pound a month um but yeah so that's that i um in the cabinet itself i've got like four little shelves or four little areas um and i've got quite an array of mixed stuff in there because um i thought if one thing fails like for example I've got a bit of fat lava in there, I wanted to do that because I love my fat lava myself and I really do think that given a little bit of time, maybe a month or so, one or two of them pieces will go if it catches the right eye, but I wanted to be varied, so I didn't want just like all my cabinet to be fat lava or pottery or whatever, so I've got some vintage toys in there, I've got some vintage tins, I've got some uh, new old stock washing up powder in there, We've got some um, fat lava, obviously. We've got some other little bits of pottery. I think I've got uh, Arthur Wood Victory jug in there. Uh, a little bit of carnival glass, nothing special. And a few other little bits and bobs. And I think I've got a vintage tape measure in there as well. So I've tried to make it quite varied. Oh, and I've got like a um, an old sort of sign in there as well. Uh, just a, uh, Not a big sign or anything, just like a little tiddly one. Um, but I've got that in there as well. So I've been quite varied because I thought to myself, well, diversification is the key with this. If if I put in all one of the same thing and nothing goes, then I'll think to myself, well, the cabinets don't work. But actually, it's not the fact that the cabinets, um, you know, you know, the cabinet um, idea doesn't work. It's just the fact that I've not been diverse enough in what I'm selling. So I thought, give myself a nice diverse range of items in the cabinet, and then I might see that some items like maybe the fat lava maybe that won't go um but let's say the vintage toys do go then i know right then maybe maybe i put some dinky in there maybe i put some corgi in there that sort of stuff or maybe it's um the fact that the vintage tins go really well and other things don't go so well so i want it to be nice and diverse and i want to continue that theme um but obviously put a little bit of premise once i know that uh what strong sellers in the cabinet I want to then start putting a bit more prem of, of the premise on those slightly stronger items for me. Um, because obviously you want to go with what's selling, right? Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, I've got total value in turnover in sales in my cabinet, well, potential sales of stuff in my cabinet. It's £372. So quite a lot of value in there. I've got... Um, I've got quite a few items around the £20 mark, I've got a few items that are £30 in there. Not got anything over £30 yet, but um, I don't think I really had anything to hand that was... Well, actually, except the fire, you know, the hand grenade fire extinguisher that I don't know whether I'm okay to put in there or not yet. Um, well, actually, I did have a chat to her and she was unsure herself and she was thinking, well, I don't know whether it would be that great to, to have it in there or whatever, but she didn't really give me a definitive answer. So I need a definitive answer on that, but I just don't know whether I want to put that in there or not. I don't know, but anyway. Um, so there was decent value in the cabinet. Now, obviously, that's just turnover, and that's just a, 
uh, a, a you know a figure it doesn't mean anything yet because it's not wheel sales and even if it was to turn into wheel sales uh, that's still a sales figure a turnover figure and not a net profit figure um but yeah really my first month i'll be happy if you know i can wing up and uh, you know maybe a couple of times in the month or i can go down there or whatever and they say to me that I've sold a few items, a few little bits and bobs have gone, I'm happy. I'm treating this as, you know, a sort of a three month experiment. And, you know, if it's profitable after the three months, after I've paid my £93 and, um, you know, I've, I've made good money on that £93, I've, I've, I've made good money from having that cabinet for £93 for the three months, um, then obviously I'm going to continue it and um, I might even look to expand or whatever. So, you know, I'm just treating it as an experiment. I don't think, I honestly do not think things are going to fly out the door. I don't think it's the market. I don't think the antiques market is that quick, you know, I, going off what, you know, um, what um, sell through rates are on eBay and stuff like that. Um, but you never know, if you get the right items in the cabinet, they can be, it can be some things that just seem to sell quite quick. So, yeah, it's all a big learning curve for me. Anyway, I don't think there's anything... I mean, I've rambled a little bit there. I don't know what I've just said. But anyway, hopefully there's some useful information in that rambling. Um, but I don't think there's anything else I needed to tell you specifically. I will update you, maybe not every week, but every few weeks I'll update you. And, or, or maybe I might update you when I've got a sale. So if I've got... When I get my first sale or when I get my... Uh, when I get sale or whatever in there, I'll say, oh, well you know, this sold in my cabinet. I might even take a picture of it or something for you. Um, well, actually, I'd have to take a picture before it sells within the cabinet so that then I could show you a picture um, and then just say this sold for X number of uh, pounds or whatever. And I might just update you that way, but I don't know. Um, but certainly there'll be some updates. I might do a little vlog style uh, again when I go down to fill it up or whatever if that's something people are interested to see. But I suppose it would get a bit samey that. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up down below. Please do give it a comment, you know, if you're interested to hear about my cabinet and stuff. And I'm sure you'll have uh, things to say down below in the comment section. So please do comment down below. And I will, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.